Rain Man, Lucky Lancer, ready for more Ponds of Action. Can you believe it? Yep, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Like that sponge says, <clears throat> excuse me, SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, I am Lucky Lance. That is my birth name, minus the lucky part. My name is Lance. Uh, my screen name, however, screen name is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore. Um, very uh, excited to bring you all this. That Major Riot is my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MTGO, and MTGA. If you're watching on Twitch, uh, please consider following or subscribing. You can subscribe and you'll get this sweet emote of me looking in particularly enraged. Uh, it's a little small. I'm still working on it. looks okay. I got some rage there. Uh, classic rage. Major rage. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube, please consider subscribing there too. That'd be awesome. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, so, if you're first time tuning in, I mostly play the modern format. I play five decks in particular. I play Jund, Boros Burn, Humans, Grixis Death Shadow, and what you're looking at right now, Ponza Midrange. Ponza Gruel Midrange. Uh, I mostly just grind through leagues. I rarely ever do challenges or preliminaries or anything because they just don't match up my schedule. I have a very strange work schedule in terms that I have a stable work schedule. I work five days a week, Monday through Friday, but I don't work normal times. I have to get up at three in the morning. So I gotta go to bed early. I get home early. So uh, I really can't participate in those most of the time. Uh, and then when I have weekends off, if I'm not streaming, I like to spend time with my family and friends rather than playing MTGO. But if you like playing the preliminaries and everything, good on you, man. I appreciate that. That's awesome. I wish I could sometimes. I did play one, the Zendikar Rising Super Challenge Qualifier, whatever it was called, and I didn't do too well. I think it went like four and four uh, with Ponza. Um, so, uh, let me get into the weather here. I know our people enjoy the weather report. It gives it a little bit of a you know, a little bit of personality here. You know, uh, conditions for Ravensdale, Washington are sunny with a temperature of 79 degrees. The wind is blowing from the north, northwest at 5 miles per hour. The current humidity is 47%. Yeah, it's warming up. Uh, I'm getting married in 10 days. No, 11 days. 11 days. Pretty much 10. Let's call it 10. Uh, so, 11 more days of bachelorhood. Uh, not that that really means anything to me. So anyways, guys, here is Ponza Midrange. Uh, my version is a little different than what you might see on other versions. I still run the four pillages. I just really enjoy the pillage. Uh, I still run one Scavenging Ooze and one Kitchen Finks in the side, along with one Stone Rain. I love these one ofs. I think they're absolutely great. And I still run the Collector Oof over the um, a braid. A uh, lot of magic news today that I'm not going to get into because the stream started a little bit late because I've got I got a real life and I was trying to get on here as fast as I could, but you got, I got to take care of dogs, I got to take care of other stuff. When I get home from work, I usually have to stop at stores and stop at other places, you know. So I'm here now, so let's get into the deck here. I'm 1-0 currently in this league. I've been doing terrible uh, in the last three leagues. In the last three leagues, I went... 11 or 4 and 11 right yeah 4 and 11 that is I thought I went 3 and 12 but I added them back up and it was 4 and 11 so not as bad as I thought so anyways let's hope today is different I am starting off 1 and 0 so but a lot of big ma magic news today uh, we learned about the next four sets there is no core set next year which I don't really like I love the core set I'm always disappointed when they didn't have it for those few years. And then they brought it back, and I thought it was awesome. I love the core set. Now we're getting some sort of Dungeon and Dragon set. So we're going Vikings after Zendikar Rising. Then we're also getting, um, after that, we're getting the school one, like a Harry Potter theme, basically. Then we're getting Dungeon and Dragons, and then we're getting, uh, two sets at once. I think they're going to be both small sets. Like, basically, they're both be 150 cards. Uh, one is Innistrad Werewolves. One is Innistrad uh, Vampires. 
Yes, I'd like to go first. That's a mulligan. I can't keep something like this. If there was a one drop or a two drop in here, I'd consider it. Um, yeah, I'm going to mulligan. I'll keep that. Even though it's a little rough without the green, without any red, but we'll try it. Uh, let's. Here's the Mountain Dew. Uh, we're going to see how bad this is. i to put the pillage on the bottom. That is the toughest one for me to cast right now. All right, Arbor Elf. I think I, think I just played this guy the other day. MTG PD. All right, guys, I'm going to try and stay positive today. I'm feeling it. I'm doing good. Um, I'm hoping to stay positive. Well, that's not helping me. Do I want to do the Arbor Elf? Yeah, let's line them up. And I'll swing in for one. Yeah, you take it. You take that Arbor Elf sharp stick. Alright, it must be some sort of nib mizzet. Okay. I'm only to attack with one again. By the way, uh, it looks like Twitch did fish it, fix its issues. Um, looks like right now there is my video does have the thumbnail and everything. So this Max of the Moon is looking pretty bad. I just think Kotal. I would love to kill that with a bolt. And then eat it. Ah, oh, we have Soul Herder. So where is my red mana? Oh, my fucking innocent God. Three basic ass forests. Well, I mean, we basically just die at this rate. I mean, like, for real. All right, well, I'm ready for a garter off whenever that shows up. Yep, it's been a while since I played against a Soul Herder deck. Force of Negation. Nice, so I can't even fucking bolt the soul herder. Yep. Hmm. 
Yep. I'm just so far behind because all I have is basic forest. Looks like he's got Path to Exile held up. Okay. All right, there's Wooded Foothills. Okay, so still not quite able to get this thing a creature. Good try and bolt him during his turn so he just can't force for free. Yep, here comes the Path to Exile. Very interesting, very smart here. He recognized what was going on. He figured I must have a bolt. So therefore, he decided to do this now. So Force of Negation. So the Soul Herder is now a 4-4. And the struggle is real. Okay. Have to bolt that up. Uh, Bolt this ice thing. Okay. It's so funny they brought Hideaway back. I guess I'll block here. This is where we just get into this unstoppable chain of events here. He gets to take another turn after this. I mean, we're just dead as hell here. Just, you know, I just had too many forests. I, I never got anything established going. These are always pretty boring games. Yeah. And we 
can take it all. What else can I do? Sure. dead okay what are you trying to pick up to eat it path to exile how about no Sure. Eat that ice fang. Now I get lands. It's always exciting. Sure, that's fine. Do it this way. Uh, say go. He was playing the Knight of Autumn, gained four life, so that this little edge I have on him right now is basically non-existent. Yep. Yep. So, a fine loss here. there I would assume he'll play not of autumn right yeah there we go gain four life Sure. We're still working it, folks. <laughs> I'm trying here. This is pretty sad, but we're going for it. Gets another force of negation. I get pillage.
else can I do here? I have not played against this deck in a long time. But I remember how it works. It doesn't help when you can't do anything for several turns in a row, you know. Rebound. Sure. Amazingly that Clothus kept me in the game this long. Shows how good that card is. Scavenging Ooze has helped as well. I mean, Scavenging Ooze certainly helped against that Eternal Witness. Just wasting our time, folks. That's all we're trying to do here. Locked. Uh, let's see. Block. Two, four, six, nine, ten, twelve. I'm still alive by one. I could attack, but no, I just die. He let his, he'll let it come through. And just block one and then kill me. Um, I'll play it out. I'll play the whole damn thing out. The whole thing. All right, I guess I won't. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, I thought I saw some on my screen, but I guess I didn't. I thought I saw some. All right, well that was fun. Uh, Anger of the Gods has got to come in. We got to get that in there. Uh, Scavenging ooze is nice. Grafter's Cage does nothing. Does Boil do anything? Scavenging Ooze. I don't know if that's good or not. Magus of the Moon might be okay. Maybe take out these pillages. Eh, maybe I do want the pillages in. Because I'm going first here. What killed me that last game was I just couldn't do anything. I opened it with two lands, but I needed red, and I couldn't even find a single red. 
So when I bring in Anger, Scavenging Ooze. How good is Boil? Probably not good enough. Maybe take out these Maguses. Sure, we can do that. Yes, I'd like to go first. My god, this is rough again, but we'll keep it. Okay, let's start with the wooded foothills. What could go wrong, right? I got a bolt. I'm ready to bolt stuff. I think that's a fine card to bolt. Force? No, no force. All right. We both kept seven. We got a real game here. I have my double green ready for the Gargaroth. I'm ready. Yeah, that's fine. So get mountain here. What's going on? Whoa, man, a little bit of leg there. Little bit of leg. All right. I'm probably going to play the Gargaroth next turn. Sure. Uh, maybe not. I think I'm going to eat the Path Exile. Kill that noble hierarch if possible with this Ren. Might get forced here. Nope. Go. Probably an Ice Fang willing to show up here. Get higher arc, sure. I guess it would be any land. I forgot they can pick up lands with internal witness. Blood Braid might be kind of good. All right, let's, let's bring down the Blood Braid, see what it brings. Come on, Blood Braid. Pillage, you got it. Uh, let's hit the planes. Wow. I did not expect that. 
but I should have. I should have for real. All right, well. No attack. No hierarch. I'd like to draw land, you know, like for real, so I can play Gargaroth. Yep. Yep. So he's going to do the Eternal Witness to grab back the Ephemerate. I would assume. Now we have to ask ourselves, does he have Force of Negation? Does he have the Force? Okay, there is a land. So, I'm going to have six mana. I can actually have more than that. I can have one, two, three... Four. Edelands five. No, it's six. What am I talking about? More than what the fuck? Yeah, we'll eat a bolt. Why not? Okay, so let's see here. Is there any way possible I can play the Season Pyro? I plus get the Wooded Foothills. Play Season Pyro? No, I can't do it. I just can't. So I'm going to have to attack here. Let's grab Wooded Foothills. Probably should have attacked first. That was kind of stupid. So let's go ahead and attack. Takes it. Let's see if he's got it. Force of negation. Is there a force of negation? Force. Force of negation. Opponent. Ah, oh, there it is. Thou'rt be. Thou'rt be. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Ren gonna die. Poor Ren. You deserve better. So you're going to grab that uh, force negation, maybe, probably. Yep. Okay. Basic force is what we all jump for joy every time. Still just can't quite play all of this, so... Let's uh, swing with a blood braid. I mean, he has to block or path it.
Aha. What a play. What a play. What a play, folks. Hopefully there is no path to exile here. No path so far, so good. Oh, it's just when every creature is exiled, okay. Huh? I wasn't paying attention there for a second, like, huh? Sure. So he's got an ephemerate in hand. Got to remember that. At one. Man, I should have cast this Arbor Elf. He's got Ephemerate in hand. Ephemerate in hand. If I attack, he'll just bounce back. Eternal Witness. Make it a 7. 6. I say we don't do anything. I say we do nothing. He's got to bounce my Clothis. That's what he has to do. He has to bounce Clothis. Got to find, like, Teferi. All right, we got him. Man, Clothis is strong here. I, I almost, I stayed up with them the entire first game because of Clothis and Scavenging Who's Help. But, wow, pretty damn strong. So, this doesn't do anything. I think this is still best. We might be able to sneak in Cinder Vines, but I don't think so. Boiled just doesn't look effective enough. Magus of the Moon is poor. I could take out Magus and bring in a Cinder Vines. Maybe that might be better. We'll try it. Yeah, Mr. Z, look at those angry faces. I haven't gotten mad yet today. I have not gotten mad yet. It's just still first game or first match going to game three against a Soul Herder deck. I've not played against Soul Herder in a long time. Um, Clothis just won that one. That was a good one there for the Clothis. Uh, and it almost got me through the pain. That's right. Look at those angry fucking heads. I'm not that mad yet. I'm working on it. The rage is building. Yeah, this is fine. I'll bolt everything and hope he doesn't get an eternal witness. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty funny emoji, isn't it? Pretty silly. Hey, why not our land? Or I guess that would be okay as long as I can get a, as long as I can get this Chandra on turn two. Start bolting the shit out of everything. Hopefully, they didn't have force negation on turn two. <laughs> Sure. Oh, 
All right, let's see here. here it is. A force negation time. Oh my God, it's stuck. Yes. Yes. That's fine. I don't mind milling that. I forgot this bug's still here. <laughs> but tilted? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe so. I think it's pretty good, though. Major Rage. You know, I, I like it a lot, honestly. It's a little small, because I don't know what I'm doing. Sure. But, um... More lands. Alright, well, let's, uh... Guess we'll play this. Ah, uh, it's not that small. Okay, it, it looks a little small. I don't know. Size matters, right? Uh, yeah, I'll cast that. Wait, 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 wait! I can't, I can't use Arbor Elf. Oh fuck! I had no idea. Well, shit. God damn it. I guess I'll say no. Fuck. Okay, that's, I'm going to put in my own emoji there. There's some rage. There we go. The, the, the host is raging. What the fuck? I didn't know that. I thought I could use Arbor Elf. I knew this wouldn't work. Fuck, I thought I could use Arbor Elf. Uh, God damn it. No, I can't cast it. Fuck. The opponent's probably confused as hell. Yeah, the opponent's probably confused as hell. Hell about why I didn't cast that. Um, so, what do we do now? God damn it, that's stupid. That's incredibly stupid. If I bolt now, I betcha he has a force of negation. How much you want to bet? Is it force time? Bolt the scoos? I don't have a scoos. All right, we'll swing in here with the Arbor Elf. All right. That was horrible. Yeah, the green creature was Eternal Witness. Which is probably his best card because of Ephemerate. Besides the Soul Herder. These decks have high... Oh, phone screen is tiny. What phone do you have? I have a big ass screen. Mine's like an eight and a half inch screen. This Chan is pretty strong against this, this Ephemerate deck because even if he gets Soul Herder up to a 4 4, I can just kill it. Knight of Autumn is going to kill my Utopia Sprawl. Joke's on you, fucker. I got plenty of lands. Ominous white sitting up. All right, let's do it again. Ah, I can't cast that either. God, fuck. No, no. I need to get better with this fucking Chandra. God damn it. God fucking Christ. Just lost two great cards. No. Oh my God. I need to get used to this shit. Well, at least I get the emblem coming, I hope. Probably not, though. 
Oh, I guess he can't flash in the the one. Pretty much. Uh, okay, yes. I'll get Mountain here, I guess. Protect the Chandra! Protect the Chandra! No! You know how different this game would be if I had both these. Thrag Tusk, what the fuck is that doing here? I guess, yeah, that's a good ephemerate target. Yeah, pretty much, just spam that the entire time. A rare but powerful Torture Defiance. Five to any target? I guess we'll do that. Just gotta hope he doesn't find a soul herder or ephemerate. Uh. I guess I'll block. I just gotta hope that I don't draw just lands now. Look at that, that mole drifter. Ah, God damn it. Game's over. Game's fucking over because I'm a piece of shit. Bone Crusher Giant. Well, that's almost enough. Stomp. I guess I should have burned this Thrag Tusk. Just gotta hope for a Season Pyro at this point. You know, a Season Pyro would win the game, probably. Mole Drifter's a Popper All-Star? Probably, yeah, I believe you on that. Path to Exile? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Does tool damage to him if he wants to do that. I mean, that's fine. A Bloodbraid Elf would do it here, too. If I can find a Bloodbraid and Cascade into something, we're good. Yeah, sure, I don't care. I'll take three. Ice Fang Kotal, sure. Come on, Season Pyro. I need you, dude. No! The fuck is that shit? Yeah! Now we're just dead. Now we're just dead. Motherfucker, we're dead! Fucking ass. And I totally fucked up. I deserve to lose. I'm a piece of shit that probably should shoot himself. Yeah, we're just dead. Terrible ass gameplay by yours fucking truly.
All right, let's do it again. Let's get fucked up again. Let's slit my own throat again. Let me just throw myself down a flight of stairs. It's pretty slow. But I'm all again. I'll try. That's better. Put forest on bottom. Oh, time to get my Arbor Elf token. I mean, you would think they'd take Arbor Elf here. I mean, the only other card I can... I mean, they could... All these cards are good. These are all really good cards in my hand. But... All right, takes Clothis, I draw Clothis. The old Thought Seize Curse. Add it again. This probably means that he has, like, a push or something here. I would assume. I would assume there's a push or a bolt coming my way. Yep. What is this? What's happening here? Some leg there. We had some leg. Ha! <laughs> sure. Oh, he's got the double masters one. I just really... And the fatal push. I wonder if he's a new player. Probably not. Takes Clothus again. I'm going to try and draw a land here. No fetch. Draw a land. Did it. Got it. Max Moon looks really bad here, but we'll cast him. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Well, Arbor Elf. Equip two, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Sure. I think, obviously, uh, Obstinate Bailoth is coming in here. Trample and lifelink. All right, I mean, we'll see how this goes. I'm going to try and block this uh, Bone Crusher Giant, if possible, with my friendly ooze. Sure. Trample and lifelink. Sure. Hmm. 
Where is the push at? How about the terminate? Why? He let that happen. I mean, it's not a bad deal for him. Oh my god. God damn it. All right. Well, it's time to get that rage emoji flowing. Yeah, I mean, what the fuck? Why not, lady? I still can't cast anything. Oh my god, this deck sucks ass. This is like one of the worst experiences in my life playing this shit sometimes. Like this is just absolute ass. Fucking worst shit you ever done see. Fiddle dee dee, there's a fucking Arbor Elf. I guess if I can get the Gargroth off, it's okay. three to return it. That's a five five. That's interesting. It basically just gives it an extra plus one plus one and gives it trample, I guess. So no, I'm not gonna block that shit. That's crazy. Alright folks. Let's see how good Gargaroth is. It's a big one. It's a big ass animal. Yeah. It's a five. It's a six six. It's bigger than your five five. <laughs> All right. Let's see. No terminate. No path exile. No angrass rampage. Just straight up attack me if you dare, I will crush you. That is a master, that is a quote from Ken Masters from Street Fighter 2, by the way. I mean, I'll block. I mean, what other choice do I have? Block, gain three life, or draw a card, or create a beast. I think I want to gain three life. I'm getting kind of low. I guess gain three life. I like gaining three life. I mean, that's the one I picked the most. Wow. And then what to terminate? Ah. Uh, Old stompy stomp. Return. It certainly got enough to return. Equip is five. They got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looking pretty bad here. With that. Do we go for the Clothes here? Or do we go for the uh, Season Pyro? 
Now, I don't really want to throw away my pillage. I think it's just time for the Clothus, as bad as this is. We got to try and catch them off guard somehow to kill that batter skull so they just can't return it to hand. But I don't know how we're ever going to get that fucking... Yep, the old motherfucking trick. Time for me to die. Yeah. I mean, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, motherfuckers. Come on, say it with me. Fuck yeah. Oh my god, am I going to be able to kill this batter skull? No, he's too smart for that, people. He's too fucking smart. He's leaving up that five mana. He's ready. He's leaving that shit up. He ain't falling for this trick. That's child's play, motherfuckers. Who the fuck do you think you're dealing with? the fuck do you think you're dealing with? I mean, the only good thing here is if we kill the Batter Skull now, he's got a waste to turn. I mean, he can just drop it again like that, right? So, what a fucking joke. This deck is so fucking bad. Like, it just never does anything. It just always shits its pants and runs away. I don't see any way I can possibly try to win this game. Go down to 8. That doesn't do me any good. I just don't see a way out. I, I could just play the Season Pyro. Yeah, might as well just play Season Pyro here. I mean, see if I can't find something. I mean, just pillaging doesn't do any good. Oh, yeah, Blood Braid. All right. It looks like my opponent has flooded, too. And uh, I'm going to lose badly. I'll take four. Why do why do I suck so bad this game? Bolt. That's exciting. Well, this will turn on the Clothus at least. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. We'll keep it going. Scavenging ooze. I mean, I got enough blockers here. I think I can actually do some blocking. That's kind of funny. I mean, this is wide here. So what kind of blocks I can exchange out of this? Amazingly, I have more, less cards in my deck than he does. It just... 
deck is just not doing well. I mean, the Bone Crusher Giant does not have Vigilance, so that is very helpful. Oh, the Seal of Fire. Fiddly D there. Hey, yeah, you can't really kill anything to get rid of the Clothis. We'll take our wins there, folks. You just waste an Inquisition. Excellent. Okay, so... Equip 2. That's not... Quick play though, or instant. So if he attacks now, I mean, he can just bring this back. He's gonna have to return then replay it, which would be interesting. There are no creatures in my opponent. Oh, he's got a Bone Crusher Giant in there. Okay, did not recognize it with the fancy art. That's right. Oh. He's moving it. No. Here it comes. Here it comes. Block. Block. Get that triple block in there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I could really use a pillage here. I mean, I really could. I could really use that pillage deck. There's four of you in here. No! What the fuck? Oh. Okay, I mean, we just keep playing, right? This is at nine, so even if he seals a fire here or here, it'll still live. I w really wonder if maybe I should just kill the Stoneforge Mystic. I do. I think we're going to wait, though. So if he attacks, we block with, that's a four or five. So we got to remember, you can minus two onto it. So you have to deal eight damage. So let's just say he kills this one. So that would be four, six, eight. We got eight right there. Okay. So, I mean, it's pretty nuts. And that would be nine. I wouldn't take any trample here. So he's weighing his options. He's looking at it. Let's see what we got. How would you like to proceed, sir? No attacks. We have them stopped, folks. Our wall of creatures. Pillage? 
Blood Brain can lead into a pillage. Do we call this winning? I'm, I'm not sure. Probably not. No. Come on, Blood Braid. Lead into Pillage. There's three more in the deck, right? Yes, three more in the deck. Come on. Pillage. No, damn it. What the fuck? What an army, but I can't do anything. I need pillage. Where are you? Can't attack with anything. He'll just gain nine, so negate. If, if all these other creatures swing through, that's three, four, uh, six, nine, eleven, twelve. I guess that'd be a net loss of three for him, but. We'll just keep rolling here. Where is pillage? There's th I put four pillages in this deck for this very reason. Pillage. All right, we'll try it again. Let's let's do blood braid again. Ridiculous ass nonsense. Come on, blood braid. For God's sake, Magus of the Moon. <laughs> At some point, I can almost attack at this guy. I mean, this is a lot of fucking creatures on the field. This is a shit ton. I mean, this is... I mean, if he blocks here, he'll, he'll go up to 9 to 41, but then 1, 3, uh, 6, 8, 9, 12, 15. So he'll... Go down to 26 here if I attacked him, but that doesn't even make any sense. I'm going to hold the line till I find a pillage, goddammit. I mean, I don't know how he's going to win this. I'm slowly killing him. Sup, Ted Marvel? Another seal of fire. Pillage! Ah! Bone Crusher Giant. Sure. We're slowly killing him. Slowly. I think. <laughs> uh, do we just stomp him? I mean, if he attacks, I mean, if he attacks, he just, we kill everything. We'll, we'll stomp him. Yeah, Chandra would be pretty good here. This is crazy. I mean, look at this lineup of creatures. Eventually, I'll have enough attackers to attack him and negate his plus nine life gain. Well, not really. He's got two seals of fire. I'm just not really sure what he's looking for. Maybe he's looking for, like, protection from red. Come on, pillage! Jesus. <laughs> God, I wonder what... No, he can't even do white mana right now. So I'm just going to keep fucking stomping on him. I can't even count all this. One, five, seven. He's coming in. He's coming in. So he. All right. So we're gonna block here. Here. We're gonna block here. 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 Right. 
So this is, how much toughness is this? This is 8, 9, 13, or that's power. Toughness is 6, uh, 7, 10, or 6, 7, 9, 11. He can seal a fire. I don't want to use the Magus. Guess we'll throw that in too. So now we're up to six, seven, uh, nine, eleven, sixteen. So if he seals a fire here and here, clearly this is enough. This is a nine eight. Maybe he's got a couple bolts. Do we just th throw everything underneath this thing? I mean, let's just let's just heave everything here, everything. I don't care. We're gonna see what happens. This lineup. <laughs> We're gonna find out. Alright, so I must have another creature to play. No, he returns Batter Skull to hand. We'll cast the Batter Skull. Becomes a living weapon. And equips it with Shadow Spear. So once again, Pillage! Yeah! We got it! We got it! Get the fuck out of here! Damn it, it stays alive as a 1-1, one -one. that's right! Well, let's swing on in. This is game one. I gotta be careful here. So if he minuses here on these two, they'll take this down to nine. I think this is good. I have to be aware that the Magus of the Moon could die and give him white mana again. I still have two more pillages in the deck. I'm going to eat that batter skull. Other Magus. It is. It really is a really intense game on. I'm already down to nine and a half minutes. All you guys attack again. I guess I'll hold back the Magus just in case again. Oh, if he wants to kill it, that's fine. That's whatever. So now we're at 11. So he knocks it down to nine. Hopefully he doesn't have a bolt. What is this? Oh my god, he's got an Ember Cleave? What the fuck? No! Uh, 
Well, that's okay. All right. The thing doesn't have vigilance anymore. This is probably one of the most intense game ones you'll ever see in your damn life. Yeah! <laughs> Got him! Holy shit! What? I'm probably going to lose the time, but whatever. We'll count that as a victory right there. Um... Scavenging Ooze is probably okay. Uh, I think probably Bayloth is better. Um, I mean, not Ooze. Uh, Serenin 6 seems kind of bad. Max of Moon's okay. They cut him off the white. Yeah, I made a few changes. I put the Gargaross in. Crafter's case has nothing. Pillage has to stay in. Bone Crusher Giant was okay there. I, Scavenging Ooze seems pretty good. Hawk, what do you take out of this? I guess Renin 6. Still got to take out three more. How good is Scavenging Ooze here? Probably not too great. Man, Season Pyro is awesome there. I guess I could try taking out a Gargaroth, even though that card seems really good too. Yeah, we'll try this. I mean, I gotta win. In 8.45. Alright, this is a keep in hand. Uh, no, I lost match one today. This is the second match I played. It was also very long. And I misplayed. It was against Ephemerate. Cobble, Cabal Therapist? Maybe you may sacrifice when you do choose a non-land card name, and then target player reveals their hand and discards all cards with that name. What the fuck? Hopefully you name Austin and Bayloth. Does not sacrifice. It has Menace. I never even noticed about that card before. This was the first card they ever revealed for Modern Horizons. Stomp. You bastard. Mags of the Moon, I do like that, but not right this moment. It's so weird, he brings in Cobble Therapist. He plays it. Or he sacrifices it. What's he naming? What's that name? Sure. Hmm. 
Mags of the Moon, he just makes me discard that, okay. Just a thought sees. Inquisition. Bolt or Pyro? Probably Pyro. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, it's my it's my favorite too. I really dig it. Alright, he's stuck on a sink or no, he okay, there's a seal of fire, so still only one land two lands for him. Magus the Moon looks nice. The only sad part is there's a seal of fire. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the Bayloth, I think. Just get it rolling. And hopefully he can use the Seal of Fire on something else. And we can Magus Moon. Thought C, sure. Takes Bolt. Interesting. Come on, Blood Braid. Stomping Ground. Alright, let's swing on in. Yeah, I've never played Commander. Commander is not very popular in my locals. It's just not. Alright, I'm ready for Pyro Tokens now. There's his third land. He's cut off of white until he uses Seal of Fire. So, this could be pretty rough. He seals a fire, the Magus plays, what's her name? The girl, Stoneforge Mystic, gets Batter Skull, we're in trouble suddenly. Until I can find that magical pillage again, or Cinder Vines. Either one, awesome. Yeah, really the only format I play is uh, Modern. Come on, Blood Braid. Arbor Elf. We swing with both. Okay, I knew that was going to happen. Wow. The pushes are real. So here I'm just going to go ahead and make some tokens during his end step. Down to seven. Yeah, that's a weird part. 100 singleton cards. Still no respect for the Blood Moon. Alright, here we go. Place Bone Crusher. Alright. Come on, Dak. You're not helping me, Dak. You're not helping me at all. He's in. He'll be in bolt range. Uh, I think fail push overall is better than drown the lock. But maybe I'm wrong. We got him at six. Five is the same as six to the opponent, so yeah, he should fetch, and he does. Woo! Come on, don't find anything good, opponent. Another stomp, all right. I need Clothis. <laughs> I'd be pretty sad if a Death Shadow showed up. Without a doubt. Come on, deck. All 
All right, Deck. You're failing me. Come on, Deck. You can do this. We fought so hard here. We have. We fought in so hard. How much do you think he's got a bolt? So if I eight, if I take eight here, I go to seven. If I can rip a blood braid, I might be able to win the game with this elemental token. I'm gonna take a total of nine if I decide not to do this, I'm gonna fetch. So I'm down to six. So I'm willing to take the risk here. I'm I'm willing to risk the biscuit. Taking it all. Trying to find a blood braid. Hope he doesn't have anything here. It was a dark confidant. Holy shit, place dark confidant at only five life? What a maniac. What a maniac. Come on, Dak. Damn it, Dak. No, I lost because of that. I should have blocked. I trusted too much in the deck. I trusted too much in the fucking deck. Well, hopefully he rips a five. Oh, so close. He ripped a three. Damn it, if I just had a bolt, that would have been it. Jesus Christ. All right, I got four minutes, 45 seconds. Um... Man, Kitchen Finks almost seems kind of good here. He doesn't run any Colligan's commands so far. I still like the Bailoff, though. It's just a 4 4. It's big. Man, if I just had a bolt. Or any creature to block there. I just threw nothing but garbage for the whole time. Fuck. I don't have time to think about this. And we got a mulligan. We got a mulligan. I can't keep that. I can try and keep this. mountain on bottom. All right, let's go. Man, we we're so close to winning that game. Tired himself? Okay. I'm only going to play two matches today because of how long the games are. Alright, Inquisition, sure. Takes Pillage. There's Arbor Elf. Okay. Another bolt. What am I doing? Probably a push, a revolt push here.
Oh boy. He knows I have one bowl, he doesn't really have two. Like that. This is intense. I don't even have time to drink my Mountain Dew. That's a real tragedy here. Thoughtsies? I mean, I guess. Take one of the two. Probably should eat that bobble. Okay, let's swing with the elf. We're working it, folks. We're going. Trying to get there. So this is Colligan's command. That's probably pretty bad. That probably means he found something that would make the bolt good. Okay. Help deck. That's help. What? Cast it. A uh, cast. I, I love Blood Raid Elf, one of my favorite. All right, we got him down to six. Can we do it? Can we do it? Come on, baby. Giant killer. Interesting. Yeah, we just don't attack. We just make this guy try to have some. He's got two turns. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, he doesn't have mana to equip it. He's got Welding Jar, too. We, we, we're okay there. Welding Jar doesn't matter against, uh, against uh, Pillage. Come on, Bolt. Or Cinder Vines. Utopia Sprawl is not it. You've got to be fucking kidding me. It could have been just about anything else right there.
We're gonna lose the time. This sucks. This is so unbelievably shitty. Come on, Dak. Oh my god. I got 34 seconds. He couldn't attack. I was like, Jesus, he gonna attack? That's awesome. Come on, Dak. Oh, I didn't even realize he had another batter skull. So, yeah, we lost the game. God fucking damn it. You piece of shit. Couldn't win. Couldn't win. Couldn't win. So we got two fucking uh, matches today. That's all we got. We got two matches today. That's all we could fit time in for because the matches took so fucking long. And of course I lost both of them. Extremely grueling. Extremely heart pounding. And I couldn't win either one of them because I'm a dumbass motherfucker. So, uh... Yeah, so the losing continues. Um, what else can I tell you guys? You know, just it, it sucks. It sucks losing so much all the time. Well... Hope you guys at least got some entertainment out of it. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Two matches in two hours. We're done here. I cannot believe the deck failed me so bad. That, that game two against that deck, it could not find anything. It just found land, land, sprawl, sprawl, elf, I think, in my last five turns. This deck is really weak a lot of times. It really is. It just it did it, 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 the problem with it is it lacks removal a lot of times. Right? Ah <sighs> what was he down to? Five? Three? I don't remember. He got down to two. And then he found and then he, then he found the fucking Stoneforge bitch. I can't win. I can't win to save my life. I might as well just put myself inside a guillotine and just say, drop it. Drop the blade. That's the only way to save myself from this unending nightmare of pain playing Magic the Gathering. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's content. It was only two matches, but they were real close and real grindy. I fucked up multiple times against the uh, Soul Herder deck because I don't understand how things work online. They work different on MTGO than they work in paper. You know? Uh, I literally didn't know that a couple of the things that came up, uh, how they would work online. Um, so yeah, another shitty day. So in the last four leagues, so far I am uh, 5 and 17. No. That's 4 and 11, so 5, five and 13. 
Five and 13 in the last four leagues so far. Tomorrow, let's see if I can finish this one three and two, but I'll probably finish it one and fucking four because I'm a piece of shit. Uh, so anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed that. If you're watching on Twitch, please follow. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time. I want to let everyone know, I keep forgetting to say this, I'm going to play Humans next week. Uh, probably starting on Monday, Labor Day. Um, but I will be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time with Ponza. And I'd like to remind you all to stay safe, wash your hands, uh, wear a mask, and social distance if possible. One of these days, we're going to finish this stream with a positive, happy uh, uh, league. We're going to have a good day where I go 4-1 and one or even fucking 3-2. and two. I haven't gone 3-2 and two in a league or a day in well over a week. So we are just, I am just getting demolished here. I mean, death is knocking on my door. You know, just crawl into that fucking grave. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it. I hope I provided some entertainment. I know I suck ass at this, but at least you guys can look and laugh, right? Okay. All right, guys. I'll catch you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time. All right, everybody. Oh, I got to do my shout-out. Special shout-outs to Tatted Marvel 90 and Mr. Zarakai and, of course, the Nightbot for the, uh, the hanging out with me today. Appreciate it, everybody. All right, everyone. I'll catch you guys on tomorrow, Wednesday, at 4 p.m. Pacific time. All right, everyone. Peace.